Okay, hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial by uh, No Code Africa. And in this tutorial, which is going to be a very short tutorial, you're going to learn how to create pop ups, something that Flutterflow calls bottom sheets. All right, so what exactly is a pop up and what exactly is a bottom sheet? So I will show you exactly what it is. So this is a platform uh, called Tilecon, and it's one of the platforms that we are affiliated with. So, um, if you go ahead and click on this join waitlist, you will see the text and everything. You're ready to experience the future of tech hiring and co-founding in Africa. Join our waitlist and all of that, right? So you can even close it. So this is a pop-up, right? So it's a pop-up. It's not a page. It just, you know, appears on top of a particular page, more like hovering, right? So you can actually just like, you know, start typing some few things and then join the waitlist and all of that, right? So uh, that's a pop-up. And then there's another pop-up here, which is uh, join our early bird talents. This is a pop-up as well, a bottom sheet. So uh, sometimes you might need to create this pop-up for your application. And that's why I'm creating this tutorial to help you understand how to go about it. Okay, so let's go back here to Flutterflow, which helps you build application faster than ever. You can just go ahead and click on sign in to get access to your account or check the description below and you will see a link to uh, use in creating a new account for yourself. All right, so um, it's going to uh, load my dashboard and then I can have access to the platform so that I can go ahead and start working, working in it. So um, here you go. I am going to create the pop-up using an application I already made called Logino, all right? So let's go to uh, home section, right? So here is home section, right? I want to just add a floating action button here that will be the, the button that will call the bottom sheets. Like maybe when the user clicks on the, the floating action button, it will bring up the pop-up. So let's say um, they want to send an information to the, the, the admin, the owners of this Logino application. So let's go ahead and then come to the scaffold, all right? So it's only on the scaffold that you can add the floating action button. So I'll click here, click add a child to widget, and you say FAB, which is floating action button. You click it here, and then you come here, click add a child to this widget, and I want to add an icon so I click here to add an icon. I change the icon, change an icon from these to something else. Um, what I'm gonna change it to is, um, let's say information, right? So I'm changing it to information. And uh, what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna change the color of the icon to white. Okay, so you see what I did? Okay. So uh, what I need to do now is I need to give an, an action to this. But before I do that, let's create the bottom sheet first. Now let's come here. So this is the section that I want you to pay attention to. So this is for, this is for pages. These are pages. This is for uh, components, right? And these are components. So there's an information component here that I, I created. But uh, let me just delete it and create it again so that you can see how I did it. All right, so you can click on this particular button here that says new component. So you click on it, it brings you here. So you click on create, create blank and say info. You can just say info, okay? And then you have these blank scaffold, right? So what we need to do now is we need to just go ahead and you know set things up for ourselves. How do we do that? Um, first of all, this particular scaffold, the size is 300, like I mean this screen. Now it's like 300 by 300 you see here. So uh, our screen for the, our screen size here, the width for our homepage is 390 by 300. 844 so it's pretty okay we can use it so let's come here and click on the component and uh, click on the scaffold what do we do first we have to go ahead and add a column so we add a column inside the column what do we do we add a container because we want to give the container a color so well it's already white so that's fine I will say take the width the width here is going to just be 300 and the height is going to be 300 so we're good we use it like this and then what i want us to quickly do is we need to just put a 
maybe just one particular field here, like uh, a text field here and then a button, that's all, like to send in information. We wouldn't be adding actions and making it submit to Firebase, we just want to uh, do just this design so you can just see how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's come to uh, create account. I don't really want to start creating things from scratch, so I will just copy this text field. I copy it and I go to just Ctrl C to copy. I go to the component section and I just click here and then I will paste it. Now I paste it, it's quite big. Um, like it's not really fitting very well. So I think this component is like 360, uh, right? Yes, yeah, like 360. So I think uh, what I want to do is click on this text widget and reduce it from 360 to 280 maybe something like this so it doesn't want to respond because um, I need to wrap it inside a, a container a, a column sorry I need to wrap it inside a column which I just did now it shows so I can go ahead and then give these uh, text fields some padding from the top let's say 24 all right, so we have these. We don't want it to be called email. We just want it to say maybe um, uh, what is your question? Your question. Maybe something like that. What is your question? And uh, let's go ahead and remove this icon, uh, the icon property. So we click here and, and, and just say no nope let's say let's just close this all right so now that's it what is your question start typing and then we want them to have like a good number of spacing to type so we will say max line maybe five uh maybe even ten okay so then uh we have these everything is mixed up here it doesn't look really nice so what you just need to do is come here to content padding and say 24 or maybe preferably 30 Okay, so now you have these beautiful uh, spacing now, and I can click on the column and add a button. So my button is also going to be 280, so I'll say 280, and um, I'll say submit. Click here and say submit, add some padding on the top, let's say 16, and that's it guys. So we have a beautiful... Uh, bottom sheets right so i will click on these and give it more padding let's say 35 right so something like this this is good all right guys um i can go ahead and then click on the container here and give it some border radius let's say uh 24 right so something like that just some border radius there right so um it's not so bad it's really okay then uh, another thing I could just quickly do is I can make this uh, I can make this 330 right so 330 is the width and this is 300 as well so you just have to expand these a bit for you to see the full thing okay so that's it so this is it so what I need to do now is I can go ahead and give the container a bother a bother color so I will say maybe this could be the bother color gray or no 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 preferably I want it to have uh, this blue that we have here so blue okay so we have something like that we can even make it more obvious by increasing the bother width say three so we have it there so this is good really really good so we can go back to uh, our pages go to uh, home and then click uh, come to the floating action button select it go to add action and then click on add action button and then say um, bottom sheets just search for bottom sheets so you see here you click on show it will ask you to select the component you want to show so the only company we have here is info and that's it guys so this one we don't have to run the application to see it we will just go ahead and preview it 
uh, and this one doesn't take time we will just preview it simply and fast and then we will see how it you know floats into the screen and like pops up into the screen so we can like see how it, it, it functions properly okay so we will just wait for a couple of seconds and then and then that will be it so um, I think it's almost done showing us I think it's done actually okay so this is this is the uh, display this is for preview it's not on run mode it's very beautiful and neat I like it so I can just go ahead and click on this and you see I have this beautiful pop-up that says I can just type something here and the beautiful thing is I can type and type and type and type and type and type and type because we give it a max line of 10 so that's why I can keep typing alright guys so I can keep typing and I can click and submit or I click here out okay so uh, I need to be able to close this particular uh, bottom sheet so but I didn't create anything like that so let's come back to the icon the component section click on the bottom sheet info and uh, I think we have to add some heights to this let's say um, let's say 330 okay so I will adjust the bottom here a bit good and then what I want to do is uh, close these uh, Okay, so this is a column. I will click to add a text above. No, not a text, a row. But don't worry, it's, on the, it's below now, but I will add it. I will just come here, add another thing, which is gonna be an icon. So I add an icon. I come here and search for close. So basically just say close. You see this icon here, give you the color red. Okay, and then I will click on the row and say, uh, this particular end alignment right then I'll click on the icon itself give it some padding from the right 16 just so that it doesn't reach like touch the edge totally then here I will just uh, shift it around so I want to push this to the top here maybe somewhere like this okay so this is it um, uh oh ctrl Z I was just shifting the icon not the row I want to take the entire row so I click it and take it to this right so we have it here let's give it some spacing here and say 14 okay so we have these this looks neat but I think we need to give this container some more height let's make it 350 and then adjust it here and we're good so we can actually turn off these totally like so you can see it like this but I like to see it covered like this it's good Okay, so um, there are other things you can equally use to shake some few error scenarios. Okay, so we have these. So now what do we do? We need to give an action to this icon, that is X. So we come here, come to action, click on add action, and then go to uh, search for bottom sheet. Bottom sheet, before we did show, this one is gonna be dismiss. So we click on dismiss, it to dismiss the bottom sheet to close it all right so now we can go back to pages and go to home and um, run our application so let's go ahead and just preview not run we will just preview it and um, and see what we have here so uh, a couple of seconds and we will be able to see what we have created and that will be the end of the tutorial meanwhile if you like this tutorial please just click on the subscribe button click on your notification bell so that you can always get like uh, notifications when uh, we publish a tutorial and of course drop questions if you have any I will be available to respond to them so here it is you click on it and then you see the pop-up right so this is it you can just click and close it closes it that's how beautiful it is you close it now you see it laps so high up here you can always adjust that how do you adjust it you can come here to um, this and say height this is the height this is the action the bottom sheet to show the bottom sheet details so I can say height is going to just be our height the height of our screen here is 844 so we can just say 500 uh, no let's say 700 700 yeah let's say 700 so you can preview it again and it will just show from from bottom to the 700 position like the height and that's that's like how you go ahead and set your height for your bottom sheet and um, I believe that you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, you will be looking forward to other tutorials just check on the description and you see links to other tutorials that will benefit you okay 
so uh, click on this you see it's no longer you know lapping at the at the top it's just here at the 700 height position so we can just close this it's very neat and beautiful all right guys that's the end of our tutorial for today and see you in the next tutorial thank you very much